Tamika Walker Hoffman. Besides the UTI, does drinking a lot of water cause you to frequently urinate and cause you to feel pressure below? Uh, cause drinking a lot of water causes you to frequently urinate. That's why you're flushing out your urinary tract system, but you should not uh, feel a lot of pressure. That could be caused particularly in a woman uh, from an enlarged uterus or fibroids in the uterus, or you could have a chronic condition called cystitis. Uh, there are other things that are uh, possibly causing uh, that pressure sensation. But uh, uh, and you stated besides a UTI, so you want to make sure that it's not a UTI uh, because a UTI usually results in frequency, which means you're urinating more often, urgency which means you have the urge to go and if you don't go you might have an accident or wet yourself because you can't hold it uh, because the bladder is spasming with enthusiasm of course blood in the urine is a telltale sign so if you see blood in the toilet or if you wipe yourself and you see blood then that is a, an indication of a urinary tract infection or burning called dysuria it should not be uncomfortable to urinate so if you have discomfort when urinating something is not right the number one reason for that is a urinary tract infection. If it's not that, you need to look for other pathology that you find in, in women like ovarian cysts or fibroids of the uterus, enlarged uterus, etc. All of those things are things you need to be concerned about. So it needs to be evaluated by either your primary care doctor or your GYN if it persists. Because having a constant awareness of your bowel and your bladder is an unpleasant situation. You can't get through the day. You, you're always wondering where the next bathroom is, can't concentrate on your work. Plus, you don't want to have an accident uh, and have to change your clothes or something like that. That's not fun, not pleasant. Uh, you know, it's something that needs to be evaluated. You don't have to live like that. There are conditions like chronic cystitis that give you that feeling that can be treated. We want to make sure that that's not it. So uh, one of the things we recommend is drinking cranberry juice to keep your urinary tract healthy. It does not cure infection, but it makes the bladder and the kidneys an unfavorable environment for bacteria to grow so if you drink it regularly it's very difficult to get a urinary tract infection and if you have one it can calm your symptoms down enough to get you through the weekend until you can get to the doctor or the urgent care maybe to see what's going on also ladies very important after intercourse you need to drink some water before intercourse so that immediately after intercourse your bladder is full you can empty your bladder that blows out bacteria that's being pushed into your bladder by the act of intercourse and uh, so you're not getting post intercourse cystitis or urinary tract infections just from having sex that's a horrible condition you don't want to do that uh, it makes you not want to have sex it makes your partner uh feel uh unappreciated or that there's a problem your partner is not giving you an infection. It's just the active intercourse that is doing it. So I tell all my patients, drink water before sex and then immediately after sex. And I know that breaks the mood. You can't lay there and snuggle. You need to get up and empty that bladder because that blows the germs out. Now, men have the exact same problem, but the bacteria just sits in the distal part of the penis. And, and, and as the longer the penis is, the further the bacteria is away from the bladder. So they have time and they can hold the bacteria there without getting a urinary tract infection per se. And the next time they urinate, they will just, you know, their, the urine flow will remove the bacteria from their urethra. A man's urethra is literally as long as his penis is. A woman's urethra in almost 100% of the time is about this long. And that's not far to get into the bladder. The active intercourse pushes that bacteria up into the bladder. And next thing you know, you have a bladder infection. 